everyone, I'm Susan, here for our next Tuesday Shelf Talk. Today I'll be talking about Peter Swanson's Rules for Perfect Murders. This is a crime and mystery novel and we hold copies in regular print, e-book and e-audio book. Uh, this story has the interesting premise of a number of murders having been committed that are based on those from classic mystery fiction. And all of these were listed by bookseller Malcolm Kershaw in a blog post called My Eight Favourite Murders. And this link leads an FBI agent to Malcolm's door. We then follow an investigation with many twists and turns where we're never quite sure if our narrator is telling the truth. Uh, if you enjoy mystery fiction, then this will be a fun read for you. Uh, be warned though, if you haven't already read the stories included in the eight favourite murders lists, which includes some from authors like Agatha Christie, Patricia Highsmith, James M. Cain, and many other highly regarded authors, uh, then you will find out what happens in each, which may spoil those stories for you. Uh, but if you haven't read them and don't intend to, there is enough detail here to understand each included in this book. This is definitely a thriller, although I did find the pacing a little slow in places due to our narrator's introspection. Um, but I think that this has the feel of those classic crime mysteries whilst being set in the modern day, and it's a definite page turner. Uh, it also includes the unreliable narrator device, which has been very popular in the mystery genre recently. Um, if you're paying attention, you can work out the mystery, although I didn't. Um, so if you've enjoyed quirkier mystery fiction like Anthony Horowitz's The Word is Murder, or work from writers like Ruth Ware, Mary Higgins Clark, or those with unreliable narrators like from Paula Daly, uh, then Peter Swanson's Rules for Perfect Murders is a good choice. So that's Rules for Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. Thanks for listening and we'll see you again next week for another Tuesday Shelf Talk. Bye.